In this video, we're going to show you how to read the volumetric purette. As you can see, we've already loaded it with an AOH and we've already checked for air bubbles. Uh, when you read the volumetric purette, it's really important you want to take the initial volume and when you look at the volumetric purette, you'll notice that there are major and minor tick lines. Now, the major tick lines you can see identified with the numbers over here. But the minor tick lines, you'll notice that there are 10 in between each major tick line. So each one goes up by 0.1. Each minor tick mark goes up by 0.1. So when you read this, as you've known, you have to approximate to one extra decimal place. So the initial reading for this burette is 6.10. Looking at the bottom of the meniscus, you have to approximate to two decimal places for the volumetric pipette, or burette. And then now, if we let some out, and I were to take another reading, this reading would be around 8.41. So that's around 8.41 milliliters. So Matt, how to calculate the exact volume of the liquid that uh, is dispensed from the burette? To calculate the exact volume of the liquid dispensed from the burette, you want to take the final volume minus the initial volume. And that is why it's really important you get the initial volume and the final ones, because you need to do the difference to actually find the volume dispensed. 